the situation is absolutely desperate. I mean, the heavy rains have been falling since early November, so we had first round of flooding in December, second flooding in January, and now in the last seven days we've had torrential rain, which has seen 1.2 million people um, affected quite severely. So it, it's a very desperate, desperate situation. The Red Cross fortunately have managed to get supplies out to 800,000 people, but we just don't have the money to, to, to really have the full impact that's required. So, Bob, when you're saying your organisation doesn't have the money, what efforts are being made to call on the international community perhaps to help uh, so that those remaining people that need uh, supplies, need uh, fresh, uh, fresh water and food, can get these? Well, we, we launched an appeal about 10 days ago for, for almost 5 million US dollars. It's just trickling in. I think with 25 years of civil war, tsunami and now flooding, I think somehow the international community has become a bit desensitized by the situation in Sri Lanka. So it's great that we can be on the media and just to show how desperate it is. I've been out twice in the last 10 days and been with women who have lost their houses, they've lost their pots and pans, they've lost their bedding, their kids have lost their school books and school bags. We're able to get some relief to these people, but you go to a school and you see every kid, 900 kids, all with rotting feet. So the Red Cross has to do first aid to make sure that these infections don't spread. So it's getting desperate day by day. And I just hope the international community can support the Red Cross. And Bob, I, this is the problem. I mean, you really put your finger on it there. So many problems right across the globe, almost too many. Uh, to, to think about, what about some of our viewers watching right across the globe, because Sri Lanka does get forgotten, what can they do as individuals to help with this? Well, you know, they can go to our, 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 our website, International Federation of Red Cross, they can go to the Sri Lanka Red Cross, they can give to their own National Red Cross or Red Crescent Society. The, the, the situation is not only dramatic now, but the forecasts are, I just looked at the weather map, you know, that whole flooded area is black, it's rainy again, and the meteorologists are predicting that there will be abnormally high rainfall for February, March and April, so, you know, it's looking bleak, and... Um, I just hope that the, the, the good people out there will rally behind and give to the cause.